King Saud uh, Medical City, and he will uh, teach us something about the ERCP accessories and uh, uh, tricks. Dr. Shakir. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Um, our lecture today about ERCB, um, tricks and uh, accessories, what we can use it for ERCB. Uh, the objective of this lecture identify the pathological conditions uh, that affect the biliary pancreatic system that, recur, uh, that require ERCB, indication, contraindication, discuss the ERCB procedure, preparation document, uh, pre-procedure care, uh, procedure care, and boss care, and accessories that we can use it. Uh, ERCB is one of the more technical challenging procedure for an endoscopic nurse. Uh, it's a procedure that allow physician to diagnose and perform therapeutic on the, on the problem in the liver and the biliary system. The procedure combined endoscopy uh, te uh, techniques with the x-ray. Indication, uh, mini indication, uh, such as jaundice, of undetermined etiology, obstructive, obstructive flow of the bile through the hepatic, biliary, and cystic, uh, or pancreatic ducts, like stone, uh, tumor, uh, sclerosing conjunctitis, babillary stenosis, and etc. Uh, or suspected or known pancreatic disease, uh, congenital anomalies that associated with the pancreatitis, uh, pancreatic defism, uh, stenotic, ac or accessory babillum. The contraindication, uh, the ERCB should not done in a cooperative patient, a uh, patient unable to tolerate the procedure, a uh, recent MI patient on non-compliant with MBO status, presence of the parium in upper GI tract, and the patient with a severe lung disease. The complication post ERCB is about 5 to 10 percent. In general, pancreatitis is about 5 percent. Uh, bleeding is about 2%, perforation is ranging from 1,000 to 100%, 1%, sorry, and uh, infection is about 2%. So the procedure, it needs um, fluoroscopy, high quality image, uh, purple shielding, uh, lead prone, glasses, th uh, thyroid protection, Lead driving, for, uh, lead driving for the patient, plan for the procedure and side fluoroscope uh, uh, and upper endoscopy, and upper endoscope. Monitoring equipment, ECG, uh, pulse oximetry, blood pressure, respiratory status to assess, at your, you assess respiratory status of your patient. Medication, uh, to include medication for sedation, Anesthesia, reversal agent, radio bake, dye, glucagon, epinephrine, atropin, and other possible medication needed for emergency, for, uh, emergency or sedation. Uh, prepare the extra syringe for, uh, for sterile saline. Prepare the extra syringe for diluted radio bake dye per physician preference. And you should label all syringe. Discuss with the physician procedure plan uh, and gather the accessory that, may, uh, that you may need it. Pointer for, uh, for uh, register nails. Um, confirm the right patient and right procedure. Obtain informed consent. Uh, verify that patient has responsible driver for transportation home. Obtain baseline vital sign to include the temperature, blood pressure, uh, respiratory, heart rate, oxygen saturation, and pain assessment. Obtain patient medical history to include allergies, current medication, and inform information uh, to current compliant. Notify physician if the patient is currently on anticoagulation, therapy, aspirin, uh, or NSAID, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Verify medical clearance if applicable. Verify that the length of MBO status is an important issue. 
plan for the procedure and locate all accessories needed uh, based upon the team discussion. Talk to the physician to find uh, what supply accessories that may he need for the patient and procedure. What is this physician preference is if multiple products are available. Have these product and at hand, reach and ready to go. If it has been a while since you have, you, you have assisted with the ERCB, read the policy and the procedure manual. Check the uh, duodenoscope for uh, angulation and test the elevator to make sure it's move up and down easily and that it, uh, it, will not, it will lock in place. Pointer for uh, register NACE and associate during the procedure. Perform the time out with the patient and team prior to the procedure. As a team confirm procedure accessories needed, category setting, it, it, uh, it discussed thoroughly with Dr. Abdurrahman. Patient position required and verbally address any concern or question. Continuously monitor the patient per conscious sedation guideline. Helpful tips. Um, one third to, one, uh, to half strength dye help in visualization of the stone. False strength dye is better for structural uh, detection. Label all syringe and bottle or open a basin for the medication or fluid. Make sure all contrast dye syringe are free of bubbles. And this is important, important issue. Prime all catheter before use. Flush all catheter with a sterile saline per exchange. Never inject without physician direction and repeat instruction to the physician. Prior to injection, understand what you are injecting, and this is an important issue as well. As a rule, dye or saline injection should not require force. Familiarize yourself with the equipment and accessories that uh, you are using. Wipe down guide wire with a gauze sponge saturated with the sterile uh, saline with oil exchange. Do not force the guideline at uh, the guide wire. Inform physician when a guide wire will not uh, longer will not uh, will no longer advance. Continuously watch the fluoroscopy screen when you are advancing the guide wire. And watch video screen when you are doing exchange, observe stripes ring on the guard wire to help maintain even exchange with the physician. If you are using a short, a short wire system, make certain physician locks device between the exchange. Use the guard wire to help advance the catheter per physician instruction. Move away from physician as you do exchange the straighter the guide wire, the easier the exchange. When injecting dye into the pancreas, be certain to inject slowly to minimize the trauma uh, to pancreatic duct. If the patient is uh, experiencing uh, or have, if the patient has severe pain due to injection into the bile duct, aspirate some bile to decrease the pressure. Keep the patient as comfortable as possible. Communicate to a physician and cons any concern in the patient's status. Document everything you use and did. Pointer for uh, boss procedure. Verify all accessory supply used during the procedure are accounted for. Document all medication use, procedure, completed accessories, use fluoroscopy time, quantity, and concern of the dye injection. If the stent has been placed, be sure to document the type, the length, diameter, and product, uh, and product code, serial number of the stent. If a cattery used, document where grounding the bad was placed, 
site appearance before grounding the placement and both grounding bad removal and cattery setting use. So this is the accessories and the tracks. Sorry, this is the tr this, these are the important tracks or important point that you needed during the procedure of ERCB. And I think uh, all nurses, they should know the tracks and they should know uh, steps. They should know uh, everything about the procedure before starting the procedure. Now we'll come to accessories, what we are using in accessories. So we have a guide wire, we have a sphincter tom, we have brush cytology, we have lithotripsy, and we have balloon and etc. So this is the guide wire we're using. Uh, we have uh, many guide wires in the market and the mini bubbly tom in the market. So uh, do you, based on the, you, the physician preference, the availability of the guide wires you are using in your hospital. The purpose of using GADWAR to help the gain and maintain the access to the bile duct, GADWAR are radiopic for visualization under fluoroscopy and vary in diameter, length, and shape, and type. GADWAR comes in four size, 0 0.018 or 21, 25, and 35. The coated GADWAR this was unable to, uh, to, ab to able the endoscopy to perform sphincterotome and mobilitome. The glide wire is a flubber tip. This hydrophilic throughout, it's flubber when it's wet and it's good for structuring, not sphincterotomy. Jag wire, they are, they are most, I think, in my hospital, I have jag wire. So they are yellow and black. They are easier to uh, few wire movement on the exchange. Preloaded sphincterotom, the guide wire already set. Is more expensive than the, uh, the regular one. Uh, is a ga is already sent the sphincter tome and eliminated the exchange. It's good to um, to have it, um, to use it, uh, but more expensive than the others. You have a sphincter tome. You have a double lumen and one lumen for inject contracts and one lumen for a guide wire. I prefer to use the triple lumen guide uh, sphincter tome because. One lumen for contrast injection and one for GADWAR insertion. So it's more uh, practical if you have triple lumen GADWAR uh, sphincterotome. You have a brush cytology. Uh, this is a uh, you have a brush cytology, brush cytology uh, and dilatations. So this is different type of the brush and dilator. So uh, you have in dilator you have. Uh, balloon dilator or catheter dilator, both type accessories can be passed over the guide wire. Balloon dilator are inflation device, houses on the catheter. They are used to provide a specific ATM or bounce per square inch uh, of a pressure to dilate a structure and biliary tree. Catheter, it's come in very size, in a variety of size uh, from three inch to 12 inch. Um, it, it can it help for dilate uh, dilate the access to the bile bile duct or pancreatic duct if you are using it. Biliary brush cytology is a more frequently used uh, to to obtain um, some brush cytology for uh, diagnosis. It helps you for diagnosis of cancer or diagnosis of structuring. Is it malignant or benign? Lithotripsy. You have a basket retrieval basket. You have retrieval balloon, sorry, and little trips, uh, little tripters. So this is different kind of the um, basket and uh, retrieval balloon and little tripter. So it came. This is to help you to remove the stone. You can use a balloon dilator, a balloon retrieval balloon to remove the stone or remove the sludge. And as well as a basket, you can use it for a removal of stone, and you can help you to also, if there is any uh, sludge or stone, it may help you to, uh, to remove it. A crusher, it will help you for crush of the stone if it's hard to remove, and can be used mechanical uh, lithotripsy. You have multiple stents, um, biliary and pancreatic uh, 
stent. Either you have plastic and uh, metallic stent, it help you to uh, to uh, to uh, to pass or to help you for removing or to uh, dilate. Can sometimes can be used for dilate structure, or if there is any narrowing, you can help the pass the, to pass the bile easily and improve your patient's situation. I have some video here. I don't know it's working or not. So I tried. It worked, but I need it's long video. Uh, it's not thank you yet. <laughs> it's not working. Okay, thank you for then now. <laughs> <laughs> 